Hi there my darlings and welcome back to my channel and if this is the first time you're seeing this face right here Yes, this face then welcome. My name is Hannah and thank you for joining my YouTube channel Please do subscribe before you leave so in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a catch-up and also the second installment of the menstrual cup video. If you guys would like to see my first video, then I'll link it up whichever side it comes on. Um, so you can check that out if you do. It's my first experience using the menstrual cup um, and I do like a little bit of a Q&A and a live try-on and that sort of thing. But I did have some more questions from you guys just as to how it's going because it has been a couple months now. Um, actually, let me find those questions quickly. I don't think this video is going to be too long because there's not too many questions but I just felt that I needed to do a little bit of a follow-up so that I could really reiterate how important I think it is to move over to a menstrual cup. So if you haven't watched the first video yet, just a little backstory. Um, about four months ago, I'd say, um, I bought my very first menstrual cup, which was the My Cup. I picked this one up from um, Wellness Warehouse. It was about 280 Rand. Uh, let me open it up. So this is what she looks like. I picked this up. I tried this out for about two months and then I was sent uh, the Rosa Cup to try out as well, um, which is a local brand. Um, I will double check on the retail price on these but what I really love about this company is that with every purchase um, they donate a cup to somebody in a disadvantaged community because of course a sanitary wear is not a free easily accessible product to those in poorer communities which is just madness because it's something that happens to women every single month. Um, so yeah, I will be doing a comparison on the two cups. So I've been on my little menstrual cup journey for, for the past couple of months and I will tell you now that I will never ever go back to tampons. This has been completely life changing. And yeah, if you're wanting to know more details as to why you should with regards to um, being more eco-conscious and saving money and what it, what tampons and pads actually do to your body, then do go check out my first video. But let us get into the questions. Alrighty, so the first question is from Chloe Money and she asks if I can compare the two cups in the video. So yeah, as I said, I purchased this My Cup from Wellness Warehouse, which was about 280 Rand, and then this Rosa Cup was gifted to me. Um, at first glance, they do look to be pretty much like the same size. I think this is just like a little bit a smidge wider. Um, the rim on this one is a lot thicker. They feel similar. They both are soft. However, I do find this one to be a lot softer. And um, if you look at the stems as well, they are slightly different. This one is flat, whereas this one is rounded. This one I had to cut down because it was just a little bit too long. Um, and I actually prefer the stem on this. I haven't had to cut this down at all. It's a lot more comfortable compared to this one. I feel like this one kind of like pokes you a little bit. Um, and then with regards to removal. So removal was always a little bit of a, like a... <laughs> an iffy subject for me. Um, with this one I found that because obviously when it's inserted it can be quite moist and slippery so trying to grip it and wiggle it out was quite difficult. Whereas this one because it's a lot softer it's so much easier to kind of just grip it and flatten it completely and pull it out. Um, so in my personal opinion I am absolutely loving this Rosa cup. Um, the, the rim's also a lot thinner as well. Um, I train with this. I haven't slept with it as yet. I just, um, I think I discussed it in my last video. I don't have a very heavy flow in the night, so I don't feel the need to sleep with a cup, but you are able to sleep with it. But I've done everything with this cup in, obviously not everything, um, but it's super comfortable. And comparing the two, I would 100% recommend the Rosa cup. There is a husky by my feet. Hey, come, lie down, lie down, relax. In moving things around here. Okay, Chloe Money has got lots of questions for me. The next question from her is any things you don't enjoy about the cup? Um, to be honest with you, there's, there's really nothing that I don't enjoy about it. Um, it's super easy. I literally insert it in the morning and take it out in the shower later that evening because you can wear it for um, 10 to 12 hours. Um, I don't feel that I leak when I'm wearing it. Um, I'm, I don't feel it at all. I feel super comfortable. Um, sometimes getting it out can be a little bit tricky. Um, I do not recommend having nails because you can kind of scratch and pinch and that sort of thing which isn't the most comfortable but I mean that is something that you can completely get over anyway. Um, so yeah to be honest with you I don't think there's anything that I really don't enjoy about it and I will try and convince as many women to move over to the menstrual cup 
as I can. <laughs> Another question from Chloe Money, can you pass a bowel movement with it in? Um, I've found that I can. Um, I watched a couple of YouTube videos before I started using one and some women said that they struggled to. Um, maybe the pressure felt like it was forcing it out or I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't found any issues with going to the toilet um, while it's in, so. Yeah, I guess it all just depends on how hard you're pushing. <laughs> Next question is from Shay Griffiths. Um, can you swim with it in? I'm trying to think if I've swum with it in. It has been like winter my side, so I haven't really swum with it, but um, I would swim with it in. I used to swim with a tampon in, um, so I have no issues swimming with it in. Okay, next question is from Amy B Inspirations. How does it not spill? How does it go in? And do you take it out when you pee? Okay, so no, you don't have to take it out when you pee. Um, the cup itself sits within your vagina. It's not anywhere near, it's not covering your urethra, so you can still pee. Um, and then how, how does it not spill? So it's got these little holes um, around the ridge here and that is what creates the suction within the vagina. So once it goes in, the suction kind of works with those holes and then that is what stops any spillage and that sort of thing. So it, all your um, your period and everything just goes straight into the, into the cup so there's no spill. Sometimes there is a little bit of leakage and that sort of thing but it's not a, it's not a huge train smash. It all just depends on your flow um, and if it is positioned correctly. So um, generally, and that leads um, leads on to how does it go in. So what I my there's lots of different folding techniques, um, but my favorite one is I think it's called a, a rose fold or something like that. I'm not too sure. So you kind of just bend the one side in, and kind of push that together. So it looks like, or I think it looks like a little rose, um, and then that slides right in and it pops open once it's in. Um, and then I like to just kind of like twist it around, move it around, make sure that it is, the suction is there and then it's in and it's that easy. And when you want to take it out, you literally just squeeze it like that um, at the base, put your fingers in, squeeze it at the base like that. It can be a little bit slippery, but again, I found with the Rosa cup, it's nice and soft. So my fingers aren't slipping off. Um, and then I just slowly work it out and I do it in the shower. So then you can wash it immediately. It's super easy. It's not messy. So yeah, it's great. Amy B Inspirations also asks if it's uncomfortable. Um, no, once I put it in, I don't even feel it there. I can wear it the whole day and it's fine. I do find that sometimes, like towards the end of the day, um, it starts to drop a little bit. Um, and I think that's just my body saying, okay, cool, it's time to get it out of me. Um, but that used to happen with a tampon anyway. It also used to sometimes drop. Um, but it's in no way uncomfortable. I did have a little bit of discomfort with this my cup because of the flat um, stem, um, but with this Rosa cup, it's amazing. Don't feel it, super comfortable. It's like it's not even there. Okay, C Megan 16 asks, how does one use in, or insert it? Um, do you just clean it with normal water after use and how many uses per cup? Um, so I did kind of explain how to insert it um, before in the question before um, and then with regards to cleaning um, you can just rinse it with um, so I just rinse it out in the shower um, it is suggested to wash it in between uses um, so you can just use like a, a feminine hygiene wash um, which is available at most um, drug stores now in between uses during my period I just wash it but in between periods um, I like to sterilize it so I boil some water put it in the boiling water for five minutes and then it's fresh and it's clean and you can pop it in um, but in between the days of your period I don't think it's necessary to sterilize unless you drop it on the floor or I don't know drop it somewhere dirty and she also asks how many uses per cup so um, the cups are made from medical grade silicone and they last anywhere from five to ten years all just depends on the cup brand and the company and that sort of thing which are five to ten years so if you're only spending two to three hundred rand on a cup and that lasts you five to ten years, you can do the maths and see how that compares to a cup versus tampons and pads. Next question is from Yes It's Sam. Is it weird to come out a public bathroom and rinse it in the basin with people around? So I have not done this um, because you can wear it for a 10 to 12 hour period. It's not like tampons where you're having to constantly change it. It also, if you do have a heavier flow, it does hold 15 mils. 15 mils of liquid, even a little bit more up into the holes. So if you do have a heavy flow, it's very unlikely that you're gonna have to change it throughout the day, maybe even eight hours. Um, I can't speak 
be, I, I can't speak on that point because I don't have a very heavy flow. My flow like maybe fills it up to there, which is maybe, fuck, I can't even say, maybe one or two mils um, in a day. So I haven't had to take it out in a public bathroom. What I would say though is, um, if you do feel that you need to change it throughout the day or clean it throughout the day, I would carry some wet wipes around um, so that you can take it out in a public bathroom, just wipe it down with a, like a feminine, hy feminine hygiene wet wipe um, and then just discard that in the, in the bins, in the public toilets and then pop it back in. Remember to wash your hands before you do that though. Jean Brits, is it not cuck messy when you remove it? I have the biggest fear to use one. Girl, you do not have anything to fear. It is literally. I also, I was also super skeptical, super nervous about it. But it is so, it is so easy. It is, it's not a scary thing at all. Um, it's just, I also had like, like weird ideas about it. Like, what if it gets stuck up there? And oh my god, it's filled with your blood. It's going to be gross. But there's nothing gross about your period blood, and it really isn't messy at all. As I said, I take mine out in the shower. So I literally squat down, pop it out, rinse it and wash it in while I'm in the shower and then just pop it. I always keep this little baggie on the basin counter so that I just pop it straight on there to let it dry overnight and then I pop it back in in the morning. It's literally as easy as that, not messy. There's no smell involved. Um, I actually feel like tampons and pads are messier than a cup. I promise you, it's nothing to be scared of. You will never go back if you use one of these, I promise. Guess it Sam has another question. Was it uncomfortable to take out when you first used it for the whole day? Um, so yes, um, my first experience wasn't the best one. I was like a little bit nervous, got like a little bit of anxiety and that sort of thing. And also because now after trying this cup, this cup was like quite a difficult one just because it's not as soft as the Rosa cup. Um, so trying to grip it, my nails were also a lot longer. Trying to grip it was quite difficult and then trying to w like wiggle it out was also quite difficult. So I did get like a little bit flustered, but again, it's not going to get stuck in there. There's only so much space <laughs> in there and I promise you, if you reach your fingers out there, you can definitely grab it. So it was a little bit uncomfortable, um, but it is not uncomfortable anymore. Um, it's the easiest thing to do. Um, I'll X, I'll, I'll Zimbi, not too sure on how to pronounce that, if it's a name or not. Um, how long do you keep it in for? Um, as I said, you can keep it in for 10 to 12 hours, depending on your flow, depending on where you are. Um, yeah, I like to pop it in in the mornings and then take it out in the evening. So it's so easy. And Catherine Brink, what is the cup you prefer the, to use the most? Um, so as I've been showing you, I've only used these two. Um, the Rosa cup is the second one that was gifted to me and I 100% loving this one so far. Um, as I said prior, I would like to try out as many menstrual cups as possible so that I can really give you guys like a good comparison. I think maybe my third video um, would be kind of comparing different types of cups. So I'm definitely gonna invest in a couple more and give you my best reviews on all of them. But Rosa cup all the way. And the fact that they donate um, a cup to less to people less fortunate that's also fabulous okay cool so yeah that's pretty much all the questions that i got for the follow-up video i remember in the first video i did get a question with regards to um training with it in which yes i do train with it in it's super comfortable i've done all types of exercising with it in um, i've done cycling i've done like an ab workout which obviously is you know a lot of pressure down there in the stomach and in the abs and the uterus area so um i've done that done squats done running everything and I don't feel it it's super comfortable um I don't feel like it's gonna pop out or it's gonna leak or anything like that so again what are you guys waiting for what are you waiting for I will leave the link for the Rosa cup in my description below in case you guys are wanting to pick that up but thank you guys so much for watching if there are any cups that you would like me to review then please do pop it down below or if there's a current cup that you use that you absolutely love that I should try out then please also comment that down below if you guys enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like. And if you enjoy my content, then please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.